It was a long time coming for the people of Florence. With signs, a handful of citizens watched a judge scold the man who was once the most powerful person in their city. To tolerate the behavior in order to be employed um, is awful. Former Florence City Manager Mike Patterson finally apologized for sexually harassing women who worked for him. Patterson will now spend two years on probation after pleading guilty to harassment and providing alcohol to a minor. Both charges are related to his behavior with women he supervised. I just want to apologize for my conduct. I have definitely learned a great deal from it, and I will never put myself or anyone else in this position again. It was half half of an apology. Kathy Madonna says the impact of Patterson's harassment extends beyond the walls of City Hall. Irreparable damage. People don't trust each other. I don't trust City Hall. I don't trust the people that work there because some of the people that work there worked for him. I mean, it's still affecting us. You know, there's there's several of us um, that had worked with him and worked in City Hall there, and we are still very much affected. The prosecutor read a statement on behalf of former Florence City employee Shay Ardry. The employee Patterson pleaded guilty to harassing. Um, a victim and, you know, Shea has been instrumental in bringing um, all of this, you know, to light. Ardry contacted county, state and federal authorities asking for an outside investigation into Patterson's conduct and other alleged criminal behavior in City Hall back in 2021, but says she didn't get any help until 13 investigates stepped in. The position that he abused and influence he held over an entire community and our local government that prevented me and countless others from getting the help we needed and deserved. Ardry says she was eventually interviewed by the Colorado Bureau of Investigation and the Federal Bureau of Investigation last April. Uh, admire Ms. Ardry's uh, commitment to proceeding and getting as much attention as she could to the matter so that the whole system would be changed. Now, as the small, tight-knit community continues to heal, they hope those in power won't forget about them. That with everything that, you know, has been given to them, that they'll think it's important, too, because it's affected a lot of us. And, you know, it's our small town, but, I mean, it's everything to me. So, that's one. And then I'm Reporting in Florence, Chelsea Brunsell, 13, investigates.